I'm a printmaking chameleon. <laughs> I've, you know, for a long time, it's been kind of a source of uh, insecurity or anxiety, but I've, I've started putting it together after all this time. Um, I, I like doing everything. I'm like, I'm kind of a polymath in that way. I, I have a problem sort of pinning myself down. Uh, this is a little bit closer to the work that I've been doing lately. Um, I, I, I cut a bunch of spray paint stencil portraits many years ago of lots of people, you know, at least 200 people, and started using that as the foundation or genesis point for making a bunch of different types of work. The people you knew? People I knew. There were significant people that, had, that I've crossed paths with in my life, friends and family and students and faculty, you know, um, mentors, etc. And so um, the way that these pieces were created, originally I started spraying the stencils down on wood over the top of each other and cutting the negative space away and printing those as this woodcut, almost like a Jackson Pollock type piece, but it was made up of faces. And I started mirroring sections of those faces. I'd find an area that I liked that was interesting and I'd mirror it and they started becoming these more totemic um, forms uh, that might incorporate five or six different individuals, if that makes sense. So this particular piece might have you know, four to six different individuals that had overlapped in the course of making that original woodcut. And then I recarved it into linoleum, trying to make it more dimensional. I, I, it seems, it's kind of way out there when you're looking at a singular piece. Um, but when you start looking at the, the milieu of works that have come out of this sort of thread that started the spray paint stencil, you start seeing all these connection points. And I really started doing that as a way to challenge myself as an educator um, to show my students how this very basic genesis point, the spray paint stencil, is the very first form of printmaking. I mean, if you look at the caves in Spain, there's caves in Indonesia, there's caves in Argentina, and there's caves in Australia from 50,000 years ago to 3,000 years ago where people would crush up, you know, ochre and spit it across their hands and leave that impression. You know, the very first form of printmaking was the stencil. What do you think the artist's role is creating a new culture and a new folklore? I keep coming back to the, um, was it Toni Morrison quote of this, this is when artists go to work. You know, it's like times like these times of crisis. Um, Cause you know, as you were saying, artists being shamans were also the sort of the the mirror that reflects the times back to people. Uh, but, you know, we're also the people that all, always have to innovate in, in different and difficult circumstances. That's how art survives. And that's how printmaking in particular continues to be, if not relevant, but more relevant than ever now, you know, because it is truly democratic. It's truly something that is in line with what we do through social media and what we're doing right now, having this conversation that can be seen in multiple places at once, you know, that, that idea of multiplicity comes back around. And so, um, you know, I kind of like tooting our own horn here uh, as printmakers, but like, this is a really important time for our medium, I think, uh, as people that are able to, that it's sort of intrinsically democratically share information and share images. 